Nigerian Minister for Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Oyema, received Foreign Affairs Minister of Greece, Nicolas Dandias, and some other delegations who donate 1 million COVID-19 vaccine and sign MOU with Nigeria in Abuja. Foreign Affairs Minister, Geoffrey Oyema, while welcoming the delegation, he described Greece as history makers and see Greece as a country that will provide a win-win relationship and charge both countries to continue to build positive partnership. Um, His Excellency, the Foreign Minister of Greece, uh, is the first, uh, well, I was surprised to learn, Greek minister uh, to visit uh, Nigeria. And, um, and he has been very warmly uh, received. We're extremely happy to uh, have had him here. And um, we've been able to uh, discuss on a number, a range of issues, bilateral uh, issues um, of great importance. Um, number one, we want to promote uh, trade uh, between uh, our two countries, uh, Greece and uh, Nigeria. Uh, of course, the foundation of trade between Nigeria and Greece has been laid by uh, Greek pioneers, uh, uh, entrepreneurs that have been here for over a century, uh, the Ventis, Mandelas, and uh, so many others. Uh, so we have a history of uh, trading between our two countries. Greece, of course, is an important member of the uh, European Union uh, and a uh, great maritime uh, country. Uh, almost all the vessels in the world are either Greek flagged or Liberian flagged. So, um, so there's a lot of scope for trade between our two countries, and that was an area that we've uh, focused on. Uh, we also talked about um, market access for Nigerian agricultural products uh, to not only Greece but the European Union, and how we can, as a country, leverage uh, on Greek uh, expertise uh, in this area. Uh, because once upon a time they were also outside the European Union and uh, had very similar challenges. Uh, Greece, of course, is uh, one of the tourist uh, destinations uh, of the world. Um, 2,000 years on more civilization and uh, a lot to, uh, to show and have built up uh, a real expertise in the area of tourism and that's again an area that uh, we can um, uh, we, we, we discussed and we can share our experiences in, and more importantly, Greek uh, expertise uh, in. Um, migration um, is also, of course, uh, an area of great importance to a lot of countries uh, and uh, regions in the world, uh, not least the European Union and, uh, and also Greece. And, um, you know, we've uh, discussed on how we can um, put the emphasis on regular uh, legal uh, migration and um, also to benefit uh, from some of the recent um, um, agreements that have been signed by Greece and other countries uh, in the areas of, uh, of migration. So that is uh, uh, so also an area that uh, we discussed. Um, we received with very great grat uh, much gratitude the uh, donation uh, of the Greek government uh, to Nigeria of uh, almost uh, a million uh, vaccines uh, for in our fight against COVID. And thank you very, very much indeed, uh, Your Excellency, for this uh, generosity. Um, of course, uh, COVID is a global uh, challenge. And, uh, and I think by this uh, gesture, uh, the Greek government uh, is showing that, uh, that they see uh, COVID uh, as a global challenge and the response to COVID uh, as a global responsibility and uh, the solidarity that uh, they have uh, shown uh, to us uh, in this context is something that we don't take for granted and uh, appreciate uh, enormously. Um, you know, we also discussed um, uh, security. And, um, and there has been some cooperation uh, in the past between um, the Greek uh, military and the Nigerian military. And, um, and the Greek government has uh, also declared uh, its support for Nigeria uh, in our challenges with uh, insurgency and terrorism. 
acknowledging terrorism as a global challenge, uh, global challenge, and appreciating that uh, uh, whatever uh, terrorism we face here. Uh, is also a challenge that will be faced uh, all over the world and uh, committed to uh, support us uh, in any way uh, possible uh, in this context. And, um, you know, in a multilateral uh, uh, world, um, we've also talked about uh, greater cooperation uh, in the multilateral area, in the United Nations uh, and other uh, multilateral uh, organizations and uh, the last time we were in the United Nations Security Council we had the support uh, of Greece and uh, we're also uh, supporting them uh, in uh, a number of uh, uh, positions that they have uh, indicated an interest in the multilateral system. We share uh, um, a lot of um, uh, positions uh, on, on issues, on global issues and um, you know we talked about how uh, we can really come together and uh, support each other more uh, in the multilateral uh, area. You know, in the cultural area, you know, we talked about, um, you know, um, in the sporting area in particular, uh, we played football matches together. One of the great global uh, Greek uh, superstars is actually a Nigerian Greek uh, a superstar, uh, as uh, His Excellency mentioned uh, in his speech earlier, Janis uh, Adetokumbo, uh, who is um, one of the all-time great basketball players in the NBA uh, in the U.S. And he started off in Greece as an uh, irregular uh, migrant uh, with his family. And I think it's uh, really to the credit uh, of uh, the Greek people uh, that uh, notwithstanding uh, those origins, um, they've adopted him and he has become a, uh, a global superstar uh, who is also now rightly proud of his uh, Greek uh, roots as well as his uh, Nigerian uh, uh, roots. So we, we really have um, looked across the, the whole uh, spectrum of um, uh, possible areas of cooperation. I pointed out that we as a country that have been um, a mono economy dependent almost exclusively uh, on, on oil, uh, really uh, diversifying. President Mohamed Buhari has given that as uh, one of his priorities. And, um, and uh, the President's efforts uh, to make Nigeria a more um, uh, investment uh, uh, friendly uh, destination for countries uh, around the world, in particular setting up uh, as council under the vice president on uh, promoting the enabling business environment uh, council. So we are also doing our part uh, to uh, promote the diversification of our economy and promote Nigeria as a favored destination uh, hub uh, through an enabling business uh, environment. And um, so together we have looked at all these and we've tried to, um, and the memorandum of understanding that we have signed uh, is with a view uh, to uh, institutionalize uh, this, uh, this cooperation and which we uh, absolutely hope to do uh, going uh, forward. It's multi-sectoral, so there are different uh, sectors involved, but the two ministries uh, of foreign affairs will uh, coordinate and, uh, and look to see uh, and to shepherd uh, this uh, very important uh, partnership uh, uh, together uh, along. Uh, Greece uh, is uh, you know, a strong uh, uh, economy uh, in the global scheme of things and uh, we consider it uh, to be a great um, benefit and uh, advantage for our country uh, to be able to count Greece uh, as, uh, as a partner. So, um, Your Excellency, uh, once again, thank you very much for uh, being the first uh, Greek uh, minister that has uh, been intrepid enough to come to Nigeria, and um, and we 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 look forward to building uh, on this uh, visit of yours. Uh, we believe that there's a lot that the, our two countries uh, can uh, achieve together. And uh, certainly on our side, uh, you can count uh, on a committed and um, enthusiastic uh, partners and uh, look forward to, uh, to cooperating further uh, with you. Thank you. However, Minister of Greece, Nicolas Dandias said, Greece never had disagreements 
with Nigeria and they are ready to support Nigeria in sports, to fight terrorism and train Nigerian securities because Greece has one of the best maritime training centers in the world and also consider Nigeria as a neighbor. He also said the donation of COVID-19 vaccine is an obligation. Uh, the bridge is here already, as you were kind enough, very kind enough and generous to mention a vibrant Greek business community which have been here for more than a century with household names, which means that our business community goes in countries to stay, to invest, to employ, not to get a quick profit and, and return home. And also, again, there's a Nigerian community in Greece with distinguished members. We're very proud for Yanis Agedetokumbo, let me be frank of it, the best basketball player in the world nowadays, uh, a Greek Nigerian, Nigerian Greek. But also, uh, if you'll allow me to say, I'm always an admirer of Nigerian sports. And I do remember, I do, I said before, I do remember uh, the first participation of Greece and Nigeria in the Football World Cup in 94, which you beat us 2 0. <laughs> Fini Di George and Daniel Amokachi, oh, the okay. two goals <laughs> at, at, at the time. <laughs> and good luck in, in, in Africa Cup. Uh, you, you have always been very, very good in football, great talents. And, been coming uh, of Nigeria. My visit in Abuja today is about enhancing our bonds, uh, the signature on the bilateral cooperation is a step, a significant step, but many agreements are on the pipeline, we will maybe be able to conclude them soon, trade, tourism, maritime transport, energy, uh, lots, lots to do. Uh, the Greek Embassy in Abuja, the Nigerian Embassy in Athens have a lot of work to do uh, as Nigeria is the biggest economy in Africa and we, consider, we Greece consider ourselves as an entry point to the European Union and if you will allow me to say also on the Middle East. There is a great potential so that we can build on. Uh, just a few weeks ago uh, through the efforts of the Nigerian ambassador in Athens, a business forum was organized, an investment forum. Such initiatives need to be encouraged. The next step, I take it, is a forum of Greek entrepreneurs in, in uh, Nigeria. Uh, we are also parties on the United Nations Convention of the Law of the Sea for decades now, so we see eye to eye on, on this issue. and. We will be happy to cooperate with Nigeria on upholding uh, these principles internationally, especially the freedom of navigation. Uh, His Excellency was uh, kind enough to mention the important Greek merchant fleet. Uh, so this is one of the motives that we believe that uh, we have to be very careful on the freedom of navigation and on a rules-based society on all issues, but especially on issues of the sea. We being traditionally maritime nation and having a substantial uh, expertise on the field. And also on issues of maritime security, we'll be very happy to train Nigerian officers in our maritime training center. We believe it's one of the best in the world. But also we, we invite Nigerian cadets to come and study in Greek military schools, we consider this as a contribution to issues of security uh, in the sub-Saharan Africa, which I believe is a common challenge, not just a challenge for the countries of the region. Uh, another common challenge is the pandemic. Uh, thank you, thank you, Your Excellency, for so graciously accepting our donation. Uh, the instruction have. I have received from my Prime Minister, Prime Minister Mitsotakis, is that we should pursue this as an obligation, not as a donation. We believe that we have an obligation towards uh, the world to contribute as much as we can to address this challenge, because we believe that unless the whole world is safe, nobody is safe. We discussed uh, other issues on, on cooperation and our common common uh, fundamental principles 
such as respect for international law, the peaceful resolution of disputes, promotion of a rule-based international order, and I briefed my counterpart on the challenge we, Greece, are facing. We also discussed other international challenges. Uh, Nigeria is an important international player, uh, and I have to say Nigeria needs our support in the Nigerian efforts to combat terrorism. Nigeria is a very important country on also on this respect. We discussed our cooperation in international organization. I underline the fact that we, a country with no colonial past, can be an excellent partner in enhancing relations between Nigeria and the European Union. And also, I would like to thank you, Your Excellency, for your help and for your support in our effort to be elected in the United Nations Security Council for the period 25 26. I think we will be greatly contributing also to the peace and stability, uh, not just of this region, but of the whole world. Uh, may I say that I believe that today's meeting sets the foundation of a great partnership between our two countries, a partnership we can build on. Amina Ibrahim, GTV Africa.